Monani, Peches, Ride, I am Mosakwola. My friends call me Wendy Williams Light, and welcome to the breakdown of episode nine of this Real Housewives of Durban, season three, right? You're gonna remember that uh, as episode eight ends, these girls are having their last dinner and whatsoever at this drunken spirit organized by Jojo, of which Jojo had ditched them because she got mad and all of that stuff, right? So now they're sitting at this table and now Nongu is there. She had joined them and whatnot. And then now we are in episode nine, right? And these girls, they just absolutely cannot tolerate each other and it is showing and oh my God, right? So now remember that uh, Sane and uh, this Sorisha bitch, they had went to the mountain, right, bitch, to go talk and Sane had admitted that she did lie about Anna and whatnot because Sane had really said this bitch fucked her way to the top and all of that stuff, right? So now they're at this table and Nongu is confronting Anna about this whole Jojo situation and whatnot. And now Nongu deflates to put Sane in and say, you Sane, you've said some things and whatnot. And now Sane is like, bitch, you leave me alone and all of that stuff. And Anna wants to confront Sane about all of this shit again, bitch. And uh, Sane is like, I'm not apologizing to you, bitches. You leave me alone. But then also at the same time, she throws Jojo under the bridge, right? And she says now, the story has changed. She's not the one who said this Anna bitch fucked her way to the top. It is actually this Jojo. So now everybody's siding with Sane, bitch. It is so messy because now they all are taking Nongu. Nongu is alone with that quiet ass one of which nobody knows why he's in the show, but he's there, right? So anyway, let me drink. With that, uh, this Rowan is at the table, bed. Nungu is getting attacked to hell and back, bitch. And now Nungu got mad and she left uh, everybody at the table. She was so mad. And then she went to her room to cry for 20 days because how dare they mistreat her and all of that stuff, right? And then now at the next scene we're seeing, this Anna is going with her sister, Mia, or what? or whatever her name is, and then they're going to Amanda Ferry, right? So now, because Jojo likes to put all of them through hell, after she left them in that fucking dragon's bag, she invites them for another event. <laughs> and they all don't got a choice, they go, but then they're all complaining that this Jojo is a bad host bitch, but they still go to her shit whenever she invites them to go put them through so much hell again, right? So now there's um, Mia and uh, Anna, they're talking about what happened at the Drakensberg Mountain and how toxic that shit was or how this whole talk and how this whole thing is so toxic, this whole friendship of theirs and when they rhyme. So fine, now they're having that boring ass conversation and, and yeah, no one's interested in that chat. Now, all these bitches are back from uh, the Dragon's Back Hell that Jojo left them in. And now we're seeing Nongu is at her house now, right? And then she invites Sorisha to come through and whatnot. And Sorisha does go and sees this bitch. And um, Sorisha is like, you know what? She's not even sure if she and um, this Nongu are friends. But then as she steps into the house, she's feeling heavily, but she's just going to go listen to whatever to whatever the shit that Nongu wants to say and whatever, right? So Nongu is always in the water. She's always swimming these days and all of that stuff. So she's in the pool again, waiting for Sorisha. So Sorisha just goes and sits next to she. And then Nongu opens up about the hell that she went through in Dragonsburg when everybody attacked she and what and whatsoever. She's saying that she felt like, you know, when Jesus is in the cross bitch and then there she was feeling like Jesus when Jesus got crucified because there's how much, there's the intensity. No good no drama here. There's the intensity of the crucifixion. They all gave she that day and she was crying. 
you know, and all of that stuff, right? So, so Risa is like, okay, but then you need to look at the facts, right? You and Jojo and all of this shit and the drama that Jojo keeps pulling and you supporting she, and that is uh, Sorisha's stance in this whole thing, bitch. And, and yeah, so they talk, they still don't feel, they still don't feel each other's energy. And this bitch is like, you know what, I am going. Uh, the advice that Sorisha had given Nongu, Nongu didn't take the advice, bitch. She's like, you know what, leave me alone. It is fine, I'ma stand by Jojo. That's my true friend, that's my only friend actually. All of you can go fuck yourself. And then we also have uh, this uh, Slee linking up with his sister. They're going shopping. And we're also learning that um, this Lee bitch has started a new interior design company and all of that shit. So now she's going to buy some shit for her client that's in the Joburg and whatnot, right? So they link up to go get all this shit and whatnot. And then that's when she also reveals that this lead that, oh my God, I have a new boyfriend now and I am falling in love heavily. But not she, after she was judging this uh, Nongu Williams, Nala Raf Diamond, with everything is moving too quick, bitch. Then she is now saying also she's in love, you know, but then she still remembers that she fucked up uh, for six years when she left her children and whatever to go entertain the Sandy Lezungu, and then Sandy Lezungu left she. You know all of that drama, right? So far now she's in love again, and things are moving very quick and whatnot. And as much as they still kick in and whatsoever at this shop, and then Bali now calls, right? Bali, after disappearing so long, nobody knows when Bali is and all of that shit, and now she shows up. Oh, but on Bali, fine. Now, Umbali, your phone, I would, okay, now I want us to meet and, and hang out at your house and whatsoever, because nobody knows where Mbali lives, right? But we know that she's renting at that Zimbali because she's shooting this show, this Royal Housewives of Durban, and nobody understands how she got this job because why the fuck? You know that she was staying in the Joburg bitch, and then from this Joburg, you know, then she couldn't afford to pay rent, and then she got kicked out and all of that stuff, right? But now she's at this show and hustling her way through this show. She's not even showing up for shit and whatsoever. But now she wants to link up with this Slee, right? So Slee's like, okay, Bounds, we're gonna hang out, come by my house later and all of that stuff, right? So fine. Okay, then uh, later we're seeing this Mbali showing up at Slee's house to come hang out and come get the 411 bitch of what everyone has been up to since she's been missing in action, bitch. Let me drink. Mbali comes through carrying this A to B winery. Yaganongu is a gift to this Lee while they're sitting kiki. At least they must drink some wine, bitch, and whatnot. And then Slee is spicy as fuck, bitch. So like busy throwing all the fire and whatnot. So now Slee lets her know that while we've been missing in action, we went to Dragonsburg and this is what transpired and all of that stuff, right? But then she also tells her, she tells the Sambali that you know what, bitch, Nongu had said some things about you and all of that stuff. And Usli, we am you know what Unongu said when you give her Mabuse vibes. And then, now this bitch is like, what the fuck is my pussy vibes? What the fuck do you mean? And then Slee's like, don't ask me. You must go ask she. What the fuck she meant when she said you give the my pussy vibe, right? And then we're seeing Bali, you know what, overreacting. There she is. She throws the wine, that A to B wine shit, yaga, nongu on the wine. And then she storms out. Like, you know what, now she's mad. She doesn't... She doesn't even know who she's mad at. She's mad at Slee for some reason, but she's also mad at um, Nongu for saying that she has Mabusi vibes, right? So anyway, now they're gonna meet later, right? Because remember, everyone is invited to the MMA fighters match and whatsoever after she ditched them at the thing, right? So fine, everyone is preparing to go there. We're seeing, because now there's two, you know, this group is already divided, right? So there's a Sorisha crew or the Anna crew, and then there's a Nongu crew and whatnot, right? So fine. Anna is paired, obviously, with um, the Sorisha and Slee, and they go support this MMA fighter. And then now there's Maria and Ruan. It's just the two of them because Nongu didn't show up to their MMA shit, right? So now they're busy, okay, talking about that, and they're like, okay, they're going to this fight, right? So anyway, uh, the fine night arrives and 
oh my God, so much tension in the room, bitch. We're singing Ambali arriving with her friend that nobody knows and the, that nobody cares about, actually. So they show up, and then we're singing Nongu coming in with Rav Diamond. They're sitting next to each other. And then Nongu went to go greet at this bitch, right? There's some Bali bitch. And then Bali is mad because she just, she still doesn't understand what is this Mabuse vibe shit, right? So fine. Now, uh, Nungu goes to greet, and this bitch gives her like the cold shoulder, like, bitch, I don't understand why you're not talking to me. So Nungu goes back to sit with that uh, rapist ass nigga man that served a sentence for raping a bitch, and but not right, that rough diamond, right? So fine, she goes back to sit with that rough diamond, and now things are tense already. So now, so Risha comes through with um, Anna, and the slee, they following each other, with Sorisha being the bitch because she has all the money and Anna is struggling and Slee is struggling. <laughs> so anyway, then they are, they're wearing their suits, bitch, and they're like, they're giving this woman empowerment, what not with their coordinated outfits. I'm like, who the fuck had this idea? It must have been Sorisha that they must show up there like, Girl power movement, meanwhile they're fighting other bitches, you know. But anyway, there they are, they hang out. Nungu is going through it all because no one is talking to she and we're not. And then now we're seeing Jojo calling. Now Jojo is late as fuck, bitch. The way Jojo doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Jojo is right over there and then she calls Nungu, bitch. She's like, yeah, when I'm come through, I'm here outside, and then Nongu runs to go to Jojo because they're saying your best friend, and they love each other so much, and all of that shit, right? So now, and we're singing Jojo, putting all of them through hell again, bitch. Then she's arriving late, and then she calls Nongu, Nongu sprints to go, get this bitch because things are so tense, and, and we're not, it's so childish at the fucking MMAs, and we're not, and, even the match, it ended up being in a draw anyway. So nobody won. There was nothing exciting. It was it was all just so boring. This whole episode, this whole episode was was mediocre at best. But but yeah, we're still looking forward to episode ten. And, and yeah, and I think that's where the drama is. So that's also good for you. And yeah, see you next time, bitch. Bye.